Well, we've had a pretty dry springtime until about two weeks ago. And since then, we've had about two straight weeks of rain. I've been uh, planning on uh, spraying my shop with protectant. And, uh, well, I kind of have to wait until it dries out some before I can do that. But uh, here I'm still working on the solar kiln and I'll show, I'm going to show you where I stand with the wiring of the fans. Let's go on in. So here's the fan wall. Got my three fans. Uh, I wired it up with uh, Romex, two wire Romex. Uh, it's 14.2. I'll run a uh, 15 amp circuit out there and that should cover it. It's all I need for these fans, that and a light. And as you can see, I got my ground, my neutral, and hot. Well, I now have to cover these back up. Got my Romex connector. I use plenty of staples, I would say. If you're doing the same thing, use plenty. Keep it out of your way. Keep it protected from physical harm. You're supposed to, you're supposed to have it stapled within 12 inches of a termination point, which I have. You know the middle fan. I'm going on to the first fan. Again, you got the ground. Everything wired up. Here's my thermostat. The wire will come in. This is just a test piece. Uh, permanent wire will come in. Make up neutral rides on through your ground obviously is there and bonded to the thermostat itself and then there's just a, a simple two wire connection on the on the hot in and out and uh, that's about it let me button it up and then we can get it hung let's see if we can get this baby hung inch and a quarter, excuse me, inch and a half lag bolts, quarter inch. See if we can get this side up. hinge up inside the shop before I brought it out and really pay attention that there'd be a rafter in the way so I got to take this hinge loose and uh, move it over a little bit thank God for ratcheting box and wrenches Thank <laughs> you. 
a junction box right up here and make my final connections. I'll put it right over here. Cutting the outer sheath off of the Romex coming from the fan wall itself. Cut this down to six inches that I need. I need six inches outside of the box. We're making a connection. always the one that's more it's just a hoop cutting stripping UF cable because it is made to be hard to strip you better go get a knife for this and bring one out Careful cutting through the outer jacket. All right, getting ready to make my last connections. Got the UF cable into the box. Clamp it down on the Romex connector. First thing we do is make up the grounds. Three grounds, hold them together. Make them the same length. Grab your lineman pliers and twist them together. Make sure you twist them together. Don't just put a wire nut on them. Because if you ever have to undo them and they're hot while you undo them, they will spring apart and you don't want that. Around, fold it back neatly in the box and work on the neutral same length again twist them together and after you twist them make sure you snip the end so that they are exactly the same just a teeny bit make sure the same length makes it easier to tie the Wired it on too. And last but not least, gotta do the hot.
box and put your junction box cover on. And that is complete. So let's take the fan wall down, see how it works. Put the junction box in place. Get in. There we go. There we go. And this thing is ready. As soon as I tie it into the building to start grinding wood.